What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> it is now officially Friday, and um, hmm. I hope everybody's going to have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous weekend, and everybody gets to do everything they want to do. Unfortunately, it seems like these weeks are flying by so fast, and I got up this morning, I curled my hair, and obviously I don't have that much makeup on, obviously you already spooked that. So anyway, what's going on, people? Um, I want to tell you, <sighs> I just want you to be more leery of your happiness, because it seems to be like the one thing that we seem to be escaping from. You know, we try so hard to be so happy within so many other things, but we forgot about the happiness within ourselves. You know, a lot of times we date different guys and stuff like that because we want them to make us happy. And we go after other things because we want that to make me happy. But the thing about it is that we have to find happiness within our own self. And we have to try to look for those things to make us happy. Anyway, that being said... I'm not going to be here that long because last yesterday my video was like really crazy, which I know you already know. Um, it became too many minutes over. I had to um, edit it and edit it and edit it. I was like, you know what, this is just too much for me. Anyway, it's going to be one of those days, you already know. I don't have a man. I still got this black down low hair on. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a process. You know, I tried to wear it out yesterday and um, I didn't do it. I tried. I had it in a ponytail, just as quick as I got it. You know, the thing about it is, it's just, I don't know. It is what it is. Anyway, I want to know how you deal with it, you girls out there. You know, you walk through the streets, stuff like that, all fan tappers, and there was something, what's up to say? Because guys will always look at it in, in the back of my mind. I don't know whether I'm traumatized or whether I just got this thing inside of me, but... I want to know if you like me. Are you the kind of girl who walks the streets that's like, you know, on your way where you got to go and you're already ready for somebody to try, somebody to try, and you're already about ready to fuck them up? <laughs> you know, and I know I'm that kind of person because I'm scared because I've seen transsexuals and I've seen people that's been beat up online and stuff like that and they've been really fucked up and I'm like, oh my God, you know. And I'm sure they was minding their business and, you know, of course I'm going to take their side. I'm not even sure if they did or not, but I'm going to take their side, of course. But I'm saying to myself, I'm sure they're monumenting. The girls have been beat up. They've been, and the girls like us, we don't even get beat up. We just get fucking murdered. We get taken to 10. Not even fucking, you know, and it's really fucked up. The gay people, at least they get beat up a little bit. It's fucked up either way. But damn, they just murder our asses. Like, we're out the fucking way. And I'm always scared, and that vision is always in the back of my mind. And I guess that's why I was with my down low hair. Because the simple fact of the matter is, like, I, don't, I, I don't wear the down low hair because of it. I want you to know where I am at the door. And I always put my head snatched in the ponytail because of the fucking matter. If you want to try me, I'm going in. You know, and motherfuckers will try you, so you always have to be prepared, be ready. You know, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm not going to make this video long, but I want to know, are you the kind of person who walks the streets when you're out there? Not walking the street like street walkers. Why are you so making a coy? <laughs> mm -mm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just on your daily day basis when you mind your business and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, you're like, you at, you at full rent, like you're at 10. When I got to do I'm on 10, I go, I send the bus up, I'm like this. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm already, I'm already having an argument in my head and nobody's around me. So I'm like, yeah, what, bitch, yeah, what, what, what? So at this point, you're going to say, y'all, pop! <laughs> I can't go through life like this. And, um, they always say, well, you got to get comfortable within yourself. I'm very comfortable within myself. I'm not comfortable with somebody coming out and trying me. Anyway, that being said, I want to know, do you walk around on 10 or you the kind of person just walk around 10? I'm so fucking beautiful, they just can't take my beauty. <laughs> or you just like, I don't pay them no mind, girl. I, child, I pay them dust. And see, that's the thing about it with me. I'm always thinking that a lot of girls who got beat up, they paid them dust too. Mm. I've been curling this fucking hair like a motherfucker. I'm like the peg bunny in this motherfucker. <laughs> but I'm just saying. I just don't want one of us or anybody to be really abused because they're minding their own business because you don't have to look to trouble. Trouble will find you, and I'm a witness to that. I mean, I don't think there's one person walking this earth that's scared of me. So I know. Have that ever bothered you, though, like, you know, when you finally walk outside the streets? Because I know you have seen these pictures online of girls that are being murdered, guys are being gay bass and stuff like that. Has that really scared you? And then women being raped. I didn't even know transsexuals got raped. But hey, I've lived, I've learned, I've been through my experience as well. I haven't gotten raped. 
knock on wood, because motherfuckers back. But actually, the reason why I was fighting back is I thought he was trying to get my money. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And how come it's always the cute motherfuckers who always raping people? Bitch, do you get a grip? But I understand the whole technology of that. The reason why he's raping is because simple fact that he wants you to fight back because that's what he do. His fantasy is watching you fight back for your life. And his whole fantasy is watch your face get bloody, watch him punch you and beat you like a fucking dog. It is the most horrific, horrible fucking experience. That you ever want to go through. That's when somebody's like, oh, rape me, rape me. I'm like, bitch, you have no idea how horrific those fucking words are. They're, tra they're traumatic to me. Anyway, that being said, I want to know, do you walk around on 10? And when I say walk around on 10, means that somebody come at you, you already in full motherfucker argument mode. In your head, you're like, I'm already arguing. So when a person comes up and say, hey, what's up with someone, tell me something. You go, what? You know, you give the look, which is like the quiet. But then there's some girls who go in like, well, fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you. <laughs> but she's on 11. <laughs> or oh, you're the kind of girl who wants to have your shit already in your hand. I want to know, do you walk around on 10? That's my comment. That's my question to you today. Are you walking around on 10? And do you have that something special, that extra friend in your pocketbook or your pocket, the back of your back or, you know, just in case the Mr. Unknown who wants to start and, and interfere your life to take you away from your family shows up. I want to know. Anyway, I want to thank all the new people. Hey, y'all. I want to thank all the old people. Hey, y'all. And I want to say, I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. <laughs>